Good morning and a very warm welcome to Edinburgh's Armed Forces Day 2018. We've got a whole host of entertainment for you, a fantastic parade, and uh, first of all, some speeches. Please welcome the Lord Provost of Edinburgh, the Right Honourable Frank Ross. saying that the numbers which turned out for today's parade surpassed those that we expected. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for turning out today. Today's event gives Edinburgh the opportunity to show our support for the men and women who make up the armed forces community. Recognising and celebrating the outstanding contribution of those who serve and those who have served in Her Majesty's armed forces from currently serving troops, to service families, from veterans, to cadets and reservists. Armed Forces Day acknowledges the personal sacrifices they have made to defend the UK and its interests. We as a society owe an incredible debt of gratitude to those brave men and women. <coughs> After all, they are our ultimate protectors of our peace and our security and indeed our whole way of life. As a garrison town, Edinburgh has a proud history of supporting Armed Forces Day, having staged the UK's National Armed Forces Day in 2011. Clondudno in North Wales has the honour to host the National Service <coughs> event this year, and we wish them good luck and hope they have the same weather that we have today so that they can enjoy it. As you'll make your way through the garden, today you'll see that there are a number of stalls with very important information on the work and support that our armed forces and veterans charities provide. I would like to thank them very much for taking part in today's event and helping to show members of the public the excellent and tireless work that they do in supporting our armed forces community. The City of Edinburgh Council is extremely proud to continue its support for the Armed Forces through the Community Covenant established in 2011. The Covenant ensures local communities do their part to ensure that members of the Armed Forces community re receive the support that they need in their local communities in recognition of their dedication and service. As Veterans Champion, I'm committed to supporting vet veterans and championing their rights, their well-being and the important role members play in our society. By encouraging integration between local communities and the armed forces, we can strengthen the work we do to address the issues affecting service personnel in areas such as health, well-being, employment and housing. Since 2014, the city has engaged with many activities taking place to commemorate 100 years since the First World War. And throughout that period, our libraries, museums and galleries, and other services.
very much. March off, the colours. Carry banner. Top party, fire centre, quick back.